Hi, this is Daniel Gilbert Valencia, and this is a brief overview of the Flavors.me website and how you can use it to manage your digital footprint. You can't control all the information that's out there on the internet about you. However, you can create a website that, that corrals some of the best of you on the internet. So go ahead and navigate to the Flavors.me slash community and type in a search term. This term should be something that has to do with your ideal career or perhaps one of your interests that you want to be known for. I typed in biology here and I'm going to search. This is going to bring up a number of websites for users who have something to do with biology. Go ahead and go through these. You want to look for ideas about what you would include on your site when you create it. So if you clicked biology, one of the users you would come up with is Lucas and he's included um, a link to his LinkedIn and also his Goodreads account which would be books that he's reading, has read, and his interests. LinkedIn is just going to give a basic overview to what he's allowed others to see on LinkedIn. He has to control the security settings to make sure that all of his LinkedIn information is available to the public. His Goodreads is going to just show you a few books that he's been reading. Now let's take a look at another user. This is Raymond. He's included his tweets as well as a little information about him and some links to different books that he's written. As well as his interests, he's included a link to his Instagram so we can see recent pictures he's taken, Last.fm so we can see what he's been listening to, Goodreads as well so we can see what he's been reading, and a link to his Amazon profile so we can see what he wants to buy or what he's bought. Some of these links simply help someone get to know you. Let's look at one more simple website. Camille has included a blog and tweets as well as a few other pages with information that she's interested in, including her CV. Her blog is based on Tumblr. Tumblr is a very, very good website for you to blog with, and I will go over that in detail later. Tumblr allows you to integrate social media very easily, very quickly, without any knowledge of HTML. So we can see here some of the things that Camille is interested in. Someone who visits the site can get a pretty good idea of what Camille thinks about day to day and become more comfortable with who Camille is if they were interested in knowing her or hiring her. And that's it for this brief overview. We've hit our limit, but I'll continue to explore flavors.me, show you how you can set up your own website, and go over some of the options in a later video. Thank you.